Mr. and Mrs. Lee, come on in. You soul. What gives you that idea? Your disgusting display of bravado. Would you mind putting a check mark by my name on the leaderboard? Not likely. Hot shot. <laughs> Doesn't that look sweet? How's the factory sale coming? A couple new leads. By the time you unload that, I'll be on easy street riding my way into early retirement. Don't kid yourself. You're not getting rich off a of residential. No, but one day I will be rich, and you'll know because I'll drive up in my sports car and I'll take my best buddy for a spin, and you can say, I knew Paul Campbell when. Watch me. Oh, I'm watching. <laughs> You're coming to the barbecue with Michelle tonight, right? The kids are excited. Yeah, as long as you promise not to talk about yourself the whole time. Absolutely. <laughs> and if you think of anybody better to talk about, you just text me, you let me know. All right. That's a pretty dress, is it new? Yeah, Jack bought it for me last weekend. He's always buying you nice things. He says it's the little things that matter most. Oh, lucky girl. Man, what is up with your backyard? You sound like Grace, I know, it's a mess. I've been busy selling houses. Whoa, no business talk, remember? Right. I wanted to ask you about donating to the Children's Foundation. Oh, 
yeah, maybe I can sneak a little when Paul isn't around. Yeah, it doesn't have to be much. No. Every dollar helps. He doesn't want to be part of this money for anything. Paul's just a little... Paul's just a little what? He's just a little piece of perfection. <laughs> uh, yeah? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, this is she. What? When? Uh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Babe? Hey, what did it? What's wrong? Uh, my dad was a hospital. Uncle John died. Oh, Grace. I'm so sorry. Maybe we should go. No. No, you stay, Michelle. I'm, I, I just need to take a minute. The kids will be home soon. I'm sorry, they must have been close. Yeah, he was like a father to her. That's too bad. He was a great guy. He's really well off, too. Maybe you'll get rich after all. Uncle John was always really generous. Remember how he helped us out when we got married? <laughs> he paid for the entire wedding. Pastor Riley's here. Well, he was Uncle John's best friend. I want to thank you all for being here. John's will is very specific. Let's get started. I entrust Paul Campbell to sell my house. All right, I will have it listed tomorrow. With all the sale proceeds, including commissions, going to the Rocky Mountain Children's Camp. I'm sorry, what? To my sister Margaret, I leave $50,000, and the best for last. I leave to my beautiful niece, Grace, and her family. This beautiful plant. What the hell is that? <clears throat> heck. What the heck is that? There is a note I'm supposed to read. When you know the truth, you will be free. Oh. What does that mean? I'm a little confused. Why would he give us a plant? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Grace, I guess we should get going. There is one final item. John had requested uh, to be cremated and have his ashes spread at the Rocky Mountain Children's Camp. And who the hell's going to do that? Heck, who the heck's going to do that? The will states... You and Grace. After what happened, how can he ask me to do that? I wish I had more answers, but that's everything. Thank you for coming. Your uncle certainly knew how to give. Yeah, we always wanted a plant. Now I don't have to buy one. Well, that's good. It'll save you some money. Pastor Riley, mm. why would Uncle John leave his only niece a plant? I'd love to chat, but I really should get going. Cheers.
I know I was too busy to help your uncle much, but a plant, a potted plant? Honestly, Paul. You were there all the time. You were making lunches for him. You were there when he was sick. And for what? I don't even get a commission when I sell the house. It all goes to the children's camp. I visited him and took care of him because I loved him, not because I expected anything in return. I thought he was a good businessman. I thought he had a lot of money. Well, he donated to a lot of charities, and he didn't like to brag about things like that. He gave because he cared. So he gave you a plant? Uncle John loved me, and he wouldn't have given us that plant if it wasn't important to him. Let's hope love keeps it alive. You should really have a look at the property. I think it'd be great for your company. Uh-huh. Okay, well, let's stay in touch, okay? Yeah, all right. Think about it and I'll call you back next week. Okay, bye. <sighs> Thanks. Burgers are for closers. Oh, you're a real class act. You gonna leave that paper bag on the floor there? We pay people to clean this place up, don't we? Yeah, minimum wage. Well, better than nothing. Better than being one of those homeless people out there begging for money. The factory closing down, Paul, put a lot of people out of work. Well, speaking of factory, you got any leads? I gotta find the perfect buyer. Well, if you need some expert advice, my door is always open. Yeah, okay, hotshot. Hey, Heather. Yeah? Who's on top in the leaderboard again? You are. Thanks, Heather. Yeah. You think that more is better. If I make this one sale, the commission will be more than all your little sales put together. But you gotta make the sale. And how long have you been working on this? Okay. Shower head's dripping again. I got gum for that. No, hun, fix it right. I will. Someday. I'm kidding. I will get it done. I'm not. I will call the plumber. Do you have any idea how much a plumber charges these days? Mm -hmm. I will handle it. Do you know what happened at work today? No, but you're going to tell me. I think Jack is going to ask me to help him sell the factory. Really? It's a huge commission. Wow, Jack's been doing this a long time. That could be a good opportunity for you working with him on something like this. For him, you mean? How so? Well, Jack's old school. He's all about, like, finding the perfect buyer. These days, it's all about volume. You list it, you sell it, you move on, or you get left behind. Oh, did you get a chance to uh, list Uncle John's house yet? I'll get to that. I want to get a good price. I will get to it. I'm running a business, not a charity. I just want to do what he asked us. I know. How about tomorrow, I take care of the plant? That'd be nice. Mm. And maybe you could tidy up the yard <laughs> and do a little work on the shed. Don't push it. Or you could just get the guy down the street who does yard work. Which guy down the street? The cute one. No, you're not getting I will <laughs> deal with it. Trust me. Hey, Mom, mm -hmm. could I have some extra snacks? Sure. Must be going through a growth spurt. It's because he shares his lunch with Scott. You sharing your lunch? He's my friend. I appreciate that, but you know how much it cost me to feed I you? I forgot. We're supposed to bring something in for the food bank. No, Carrie, put that back. That's Daddy's favorite. Get the kidney beans instead. Nobody eats that. Well, my teacher said to bring something that I would like if I needed food. I don't like kidney beans. I don't like kidney beans either, but they're very nutritious. Put the soup back. No. You're like the Grinch. Right? Only difference is you're not green and hairy. Excuse me? You guys want to go on the Camel family trip, right? The kids are right. What? We're trying to watch our money. Oh, a couple of cans of soup isn't going to make a difference. Every bit counts. What time is it? Oh, I got to move. All right, for you, have a great day. Mm. Um, I was thinking maybe you could uh, tidy up the shed. Then maybe, I don't know, would have a fighting chance in the winter. What'll have a fighting chance? The plant. In that shed? Yeah, the shed.
That way I could visit it all year round and think of Uncle John. Love you. Love you. Good old Uncle John. How'd the factory show go? Guy wanted to gut it and turn it into storage. I didn't want that. Just dump it on the first outfit that puts money on the table. Look, as a factory, it still has value, not only to the buyer, but to the community. That's not your problem. Hey, can we get two coffees, medium, one with cream, one black? He's paying. He'll be seven twenty-five. Advice isn't free. Oh, thank you. Lots of people lost their jobs when the factory closed. Local businesses suffered. Thank you. Farmers couldn't move their produce, and truckers weren't even busy. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, you got a lot of sales, but uh, the price per unit is dropping drastically, so you're not getting rich, pal. Thank you. Spare change? Thanks. Spare change? Sorry, buddy. Ask St. Jack. Spare change? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Told you. So I drove by the factory. And? And it's a dump. Grass needs cutting, there's leaves everywhere, garbage piled up. Kind of sounds like your backyard. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell my backyard. How's the inside look? All the equipment works, but there are a few things that need fixing up. Again, that's not your problem. First impressions are what matter. You just shine it up. I guess. You know what? Let me help. We'll sell it together, we'll split the commission. I had an exclusive on it. I've been working on it for months. Yeah, buddy, but you're not selling it. So let me help and just give me a cut. I thought we were friends. Dude, we're best friends. And this is business. You'll cut the grass and rake the leaves? I'll see you at four-ish. Four o'clock four sharp and you got a deal. Okay, hot shot. I got to go home and I got to take care of a inheritance. Nobody likes drinking alone, Uncle John's plant.
Hey, hey, buddy, how's it go? How, how'd the game go? We kicked butt. Right, right. That's all that matters, cause losing is, is for losers. losers. <laughs> yeah, way to go. Uh, sorry I couldn't come, but I had to do this for your mom. Looks good, Dad. Th don't touch that. No, but cause it's gotta rest. You can water it though. There you go. Yeah, not not there. Just right down there. Yeah, that looks there. great, Paul. Thank yeah. you. Anything for Uncle John. What about the wood and the tarps? I can't even skate yet. Uh, yeah, that's got to wait for another day because uh, I got to uh, That's enough water. I got to go. And you probably got homework to do, so you guys should uh, get at it. I thought you were going to help us with our homework. Uh, actually, I got to go, so uh, Mom's going to help with homework. Sure, Mom's going to do it. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. So it's time to go do the homework, right? And uh, I got to get to work because my partner Jack and I are going to be selling a factory together. Exciting. I'm just going to stay with the plan. OK. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, bye. Watch my car. It's old. Nobody could tell. I'm sorry if my car doesn't have enough bling for your taste. Well, it's not a Porsche, and neither is this place. So we got our work cut out for us. But you rake it, and that's really, really good. Would go faster if I had some help. Probably. Let there be light. Okay. So let's say I am a buyer. All I see is dirt and cobwebs and dust. The equipment works well. It was maintained properly. Yeah, but if it's dirty, you're not going to get full value. First impressions, my man. So we have to clean it. That's a huge job. Yes, and I don't know about you, but I am allergic to brooms, so I like to get a vacuum cleaning truck. What? It's got like this 12-inch vac hose and this air compressor wand, and it just stirs up all the dirt, and it just sucks it into the truck, and it is gone, and it is fast and easy. Good idea, but how much is it going to cost? Well, I'm just giving you, like, leaderboard advice. You want it? Uh, those windows back there, yeah, you got to replace those. You don't want people thinking this place has been vandalized, or you have homeless people living in it. Any other issues? Yeah, uh, there is a hole in the railing on the second level where they pulled out some ventilation equipment. Show me, my man. Show me. Plywood and a tarp. Kind of cheap, but I guess. Those pipes over there, those look bad. So you shove them behind that vent pipe, out of sight, out of mind. Maybe change the burnt out lights? No, no, you get this place too bright, and they're going to see what else is wrong with it. Got it. Is that it? Well, pretty much. Shine it up and it's going to sell. OK. I got to get going because I got to go home and play that. So I will see you tomorrow, partner. Partner. Yeah, right. So Grace. About Uncle John's plan. Yeah, I think I know where he got all the money for his charities. Yeah, because a plan, it grows money. I know, it's weird, right? All kinds of money. Hundreds and fifties and sometimes twenties. It's like an ATM machine. Yeah, no service fees though. <laughs> yeah, oh, and so what do you think you want to do with the money? Oh, you want to save it. Yeah. Nah. Hey, what you doing out there? Oh, just checking on our legacy. 
Oh, I watered it earlier. How did it look? Good. Did you see any buds? Buds? Flowers. <laughs> no, honey, it's not the season. That would be spring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be spring. <laughs> <laughs> How is the factory? Oh, that's a mess. But Jack's got me now. We got a plan. <laughs> First you do. Mm. Pastor Riley, what a surprise. What can I do for you? Well, I'm just canvassing the neighborhood. We're looking for donations for the church's fundraiser. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, an even small donation would be very helpful. Uh, do you give tax receipts? Of course, we'll mail one off to you. Uh, Paul, how's the sale on John's house coming along? Oh, uh, I doubt that's, uh, I'm, I'm putting it up soon. That's great. Children's camp can really use that money. I'm gonna go get you that check. Thanks. What you looking for? Uh, where do we keep the checkbook? Checkbook? Yeah. Tom and Harry Top of the fridge. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Just a second, Pastor, I'm having trouble with the damn pen. Darn, <laughs> darn pen. Giving me trouble. What are you doing? I am writing a check. <laughs> Never seen your father write a check before? Here you go. Oh, very kind. Just trying to do my part. Well, every little bit helps. Thank you, Paul. Have a great day, Pastor. Thank you. What was that? Oh, uh, Pastor Riley wanted donations, so... No, I mean you. Oh, you can't... have never given a donation to anything. In memory of Uncle John. Oh, Paul. Thank you. You two still think I'm a Grinch? Well, I gotta go to work. Sweetie, the car's over there. Yeah, I know. I just uh, wanted to check on uh, the Five baths and this big yard for dogs. That cute little puppy you got. Yeah, no, I think the place is perfect for you. You know what? You are not going to find a better deal. Trust me. Sure, I can meet you in 15 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Bring the cute puppy. Yeah, yeah, he's adorable. Great. Talk to you next week. Looking forward to it. <sighs> wow. Look at the hot shot. Well, when you look good, you feel good. Here we go. How many consecutive weeks have I been on that leaderboard? You sold again? 
It's this whole thing. I think it's called the laws of attraction. You, you, you think about it, you imagine it, and it happens. You should become a motivational speaker. How to get rich by just thinking about it. Paul Campbell. Yeah, I'll do the biography, and then I'll do the lecture circuit. <laughs> right. Okay, listen. The first clean truck is coming tomorrow. 600 bucks. Better work. Oh, it will. You trust me. And here is my half partner. Now I have to go close another deal. You want to borrow my car? Why? Because your car doesn't fit this new image. Thanks for the latte, Paul. You're welcome, Jack. You have yourself a nice day, Paul. No, you have yourself a nice day, partner. <sighs> Uncle John, I have no idea what is going on here, but thank you. Keep it coming, buddy. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. How did the volunteer committee meeting go? Uh, it was great. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough volunteers, but yeah, we'll make do. You know, you always do. I sold another house. You are hot. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Really hot. <laughs> yeah. New suit, yeah. shoes, watch. Yeah, you know, I thought I'd start dressing like number one on the leaderboard. How much did this all cost? I can write it all off as a business expense. Right, but... 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 I got a shower. Mm -hmm. Smooth. stuff on this list? Okay. Whatever happened to get no-name brands and just the stuff we need? Sometimes you have to splurge. Hold on a second. Hey guys, you're gonna be in charge of your lunch snacks this week. So, you buy whatever you want, keep it under 20 bucks. Hold on, there's rules. Whatever you buy can't be good for you. Are you okay? Absolutely. <laughs> I should be for five grand. Hey, she's on sale right now and worth every penny. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 24 horsepower, 48 inch deck, 10 variable cut levels, attachments for every season. Hmm. I should check with the wife and uh, see what she says. Sure, you check with the boss. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. It'll be a surprise. Yeah, women love surprises. 
<laughs> Let's go ring it up. Debit or credit? Ha, uh, cash. Cash? How well, many people pay cash for big ticket items? You guys deliver? Absolutely. Oh, not again. This is the third time you've landed in jail. I don't have a criminal record. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I understand, but I've got the kids. Okay. No, it's it's fine. I'll be there. All right, bye. What's wrong, Mom? Oh, somebody just called in sick to volunteer at the church, so I gotta go cover. But we're right in the middle of a game. Oh, yeah, but they need me. And sometimes you have to help others before you help yourself. I'll call your dad. He'll come home and finish the game. You know how much he loves Monopoly. <laughs> Rush Realty, buying or selling, we get it done fast. Trust me, your amazing husband, Paul Campbell speaking. What's going on? And of course, you gotta go help because Grace has gotta do what Grace has gotta do. Okay, yeah, I'll be home in like 10. I got you covered. I love you too. One, two, three, four, five. Pay up, chump. I'm almost broke. Yeah, because you're a loser. Dad, we're just playing for fun. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll give you B&O and Pennsylvania if you give me Pacific. And then you'll have all the green ones. Yeah, but then you'll have almost all the railroads. I'm just trying to help you out, buddy. Yeah, right. You always have to win. Yeah, because it's a game. And in a game, there are winners and there are losers. Add the electric company, and you have a deal. Okay, plus 50 bucks. What? Hello. Hi. Mr. Campbell? That's right. Just need you to sign right here. There you go. Perfect. Where'd you get that? Home center. Nice color. She's a beauty. How much? Doesn't matter. It will to mom. For you. Take a look in the backyard. She's a beauty. Yep, sure is. Did all the yard work like you asked me to. I see. What's that? We bought this. Did we? With what? Our money. How much of our money? Four thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine ninety-nine. Uh, I'm sorry. What? It was on sale. Hey, Dad. Look, it's in your lawnmower. Isn't she a beauty, Dad? Hey guys, why don't you go up to your rooms? Dad and I have to have a little talk. That is pretty good. Art is his best subject. Maybe I'll have some wine. Maybe not. 
You want to explain to me why you bought this? Because we need one. Because I can use it on Uncle John's yard, and Jack and I can use it to clean up the factory. But it's a $5,000 metal box with wheels. It's got seasonal attachments, and yeah, okay, it's a big investment, but it'll pay for itself. No, oh, it's gonna pay for itself. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good, because I don't know how we're gonna pay for it. I'm part of the leaderboard. This month? Have you conveniently forgotten the last four months when you were somewhere on the loser board? That's kind of harsh. <sighs> Look, your commissions go into our joint account, so I know exactly what's in there. We've been barely getting by. I came into a little extra cash. $5,000 extra cash. From where, Paul? Jack gave me an advance on the factory set. So you're just spending like there's no tomorrow? What about the Campbell family trip? Or how about the fact that we're supposed to discuss major purchases together? Sorry, buddy. Nine. One hundred thousand dollars. I'm rich. I'm rich. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Hello? Anybody home? Grace? Interested in the 718 Cayman? Oh, yeah. I've been wanting this baby for a very, very long time. <laughs> I bet. Today's the day. Let's make a deal. Right this way. I've been counting my pennies. How much for the car? $85,000. I'll give you $65,000 right now with trade in, you throw in some custom formats. I'm sure we could work something out, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a lot of money we're talking about. Are we talking about that kind of money? It's all there. You do take cash, don't you? Oh, we do. It's just. It's just, I don't think you're selling a lot of cars these days, are you? I didn't get your name. Paul Campbell, Rush Realty. Seen your signs around town? Top of the leaderboard all month. Good for you. You buying a house? Are you selling a house? I can get the deal done fast. Trust me. But are we doing this now or what? Give us an hour. We get all shined up and ready for you. We'll be waiting. What the? I thought maybe we could ride to the meeting next week in this wreck. 
Whose is this? Oh, she's all mine. No, no, no. Your commission doesn't allow you to buy toys like this. Well, I came into a bit of money. I thought, why not live a little? Wait a minute. Uncle John? Yeah. You said that he was well off. Is this? Yeah. Uncle John was a generous man. Oh, I'd say. Did you uh, finish the yard work? Yeah. It's all good. Looks nice. Makes a big difference. First impressions. You got it. You want to go for a spin? Yeah. You want to drive? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Bank said it was legit. Why'd they call you? Because you took in $65,000 in cash. No law against it. Legally, all I have to do is send the IRS a 8300 form. You should have called us before you took the money. <sighs> yeah, well, business was slow. I was busy. What can I say? You better hope this guy checks out. <sighs> Paul Campbell. His face is plastered all over town. He's their top salesman, and it seemed legit. So I did the deal. Because real estate's a cash business. Some people have inheritance, some people win the lottery. <laughs> and sometimes pigs fly. I appreciate the call. We'll look into it. Hey, Mom, here's the one that I was telling you about. Huh. So I could practice my shooting. What? I'm not playing goalie. Don't need a goalie. Now that Dad cleaned out the yard, maybe we can put a rink in there. You know what your dad's going to say. He has tons of money. Lennon, we can't always have what we want. Would you rather have the Campbell family vacation or a hockey rink just for yourself? <laughs> family vacation. Butt out. Landon. Well, why can't I have both? Guys, why don't you go in and get ready for dinner, huh? Shotgun first! Oh. I don't remember the last time you brought me flowers. Things are gonna start changing. Yeah, they are. Well, that's different. Juicy time. You thirsty? You want some juicy? And you juicy.
Grace, look. How much? It doesn't matter. It's paid for. How much? <sighs> Are you going to make me ask you again? 65,000 after trade in, and I got a set of formats. Where is this money coming from? I told you the factory is gonna sell. Jack just gave me more of an advance on the commission. So you just went out and bought yourself a $65,000 car. It's gonna Trust me. I'm not sure I do it anymore. You should probably sleep on the couch tonight. Top of the morning, Paul. Just heading off to work? Yeah. What can I do for you? Well, the early bird gets a worm. It is early. <laughs> I was hoping you could help us out with the church fundraiser. I just gave you a check for 50 bucks a couple of days ago. Yeah, I know, but we're really short of funds. Well, uh, we're kind of on a tight budget. <laughs> See, you have a new car. Yeah, it's a... Uh... That's a nice car. Yes. Paul. A generous person will prosper. By watering others, he waters himself. What? Proverbs 11.25. Right. I'd have to check, Grace. Oh, I understand. How's the sale in John's house coming along? It'll happen, Pastor. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. No, no, I'm not upset. It's just, uh, you know, I gotta get over to the yard. I gotta clean it up a little. Like, should, like just shine it up a little. <laughs> well, John picked you because he knew you were the right man for the job. I'll make it happen. Trust me. What's that, Paul? I gotta go to work. All right, well, you, you have a nice day. Campbell, can I help you? Yeah. Paul at home? Uh, no, he's at work. Yeah. You know Paul? Kind of. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Lena, why don't you go finish your homework, hon? My name is Detective Miller. Mind if I ask you a few questions? About what? Your husband's spending. Is he usually in the habit of paying cash for $65,000 cars? Well, he works at Rush Realty. He, he's the top salesman there. He's doing really well. Is this some sort of official investigation? Wondering where that briefcase full of cash came from. Well, if you don't mind, I would prefer that Paul was here to talk to you about that. Understandable. I'll call again. When exactly? Not sure. Miller. Got the background check on Campbell. Yeah. He's clean. A few speeding tickets. That's about it. His income has been pretty steady, but dropped off the last couple of years. Local economy took a hit, so that's normal. That's about it. 
His wife does volunteer work with the community, couple kids, they're involved in hockey, community stuff, average Joe family. You gonna grab the car? Not yet. I'm gonna watch him for a little bit, see what he's up to. There might be a bigger prize in this popcorn box. Good luck. thinking what buying that car with $65,000 cash Jack gave you an advance on the factory sale in cash yeah <laughs> well a detective Miller was here today what yeah why because she wants to talk to you about where all that cash came from are you doing something illegal where is the money coming from? It's, it's nothing illegal. It's just, it's hard to explain. Well, you better find a way because I am freaking out. Are you not happy with what we have? We have a beautiful home, food on the table, great kids. I don't know what you're doing, but you are putting everything at risk. I'm gonna fix this. I just gotta go talk to somebody. Oh. Talk to me. I can't. Nice surprise. Pastor. What can I do for you? I was thinking about what you said this morning. That uh, the generous person will prosper. And by watering others, he waters himself. Proverbs 11 to 25. Yeah, that's it. I thought uh, I'd give some money to your fundraiser. <laughs> That'd be wonderful. That's a thousand dollars. Oh, very generous. Have you talked to Grace about this? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> Something you want to tell me, Paul? Uh, Grace is a little angry with me. Oh. Yeah, I've been spending some money and she thinks I'm being irresponsible. And are you? I don't know. When I grew up, uh, my parents were always really worried about money. I never wanted to be like that. And I always looked up to Uncle John because he seemed to have everything. <laughs> he didn't have a Porsche 718 Cayman. Yeah, that was maybe a bit much. <laughs> and I'll start it with Uncle John's plant. I, I put it in the shed and gave it a nice home in the backyard. And how's it doing? Great. He's doing great. That's good. John would be pleased. Paul, money can do great things, but it can become a false god. But John was a very giving man. He knew that if you do unto others as you would have done unto yourself, possibilities become endless. Yeah, yeah. I read about that. It's called the laws of attraction. Nah, that one's been around for a long time. In my mind, it's too concerned with the me. Am I buying a fancy car? Hey, there's nothing wrong with wanting to reward yourself with nice things. But after all, it's just a car. It's a really fast car. It's a beautiful car. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, it gets you from point A to point B. It's just a car. You're right. 
Paul, none of us live forever. So why don't we live our lives knowing that we've done everything we possibly can to help others? It's in helping others that we find our true nature. Yeah, I can do that. I'm gonna list Uncle John's house ASAP. Great. Oh my. That's $10,000, about. That's a lot of money. You, you should talk this over with Grace. No, no, I don't want it. And there's more where that came from. You want a tax receipt? No, uh, God, no, uh, sorry. Gosh, no, not this time. Paul. I want you to have this. Oh, Pastor, he gave us one when you married us. Paul, this is Uncle John's Bible. Maybe it'll help you find some solace. Detective Miller. Detective? <laughs> I was just heading out to rake the leaves before supper. Big job for a man of my age. Is something wrong? That's an awful lot of cash laying around. Oh, that's well, donations for our church fundraiser. Going to a very special cause this year. From Paul Campbell? He's a member of our church. He's also tossing around a lot of cash lately. He normally this generous? Uh, no, he's a very frugal man. So you would call this act of charity out of character? Based on past experience? Yes. Is Mr. Campbell in any kind of trouble? I mean, the only plant I remember is the burning bush. But there it is, Proverbs 11.25. The generous person will prosper. By watering others, he waters himself. Oh boy. I got carried away. Selfish. I started lying to cover it up. And now the police are asking questions and I can't even tell the truth because who's gonna believe I'm getting my money from a plant? Uncle John, why'd you give me this thing? It's ruining my life. Where's your dad? He left. He made us pancakes. I can see that. He makes the best pancakes. He said he'd take me to my game later. I wouldn't count on it. He promised. Landon, I'm sure he'll be there. Oh. Mrs. Campbell. Detective. Looking for your husband. Thought I might find him at home before work. No, he's not here. I noticed the Porsche was gone. 
Any idea where he might be? Well, I really couldn't say. He's probably selling a house. He's very busy. I need to talk to him ASAP. So I'm thinking we should give the factory like one more once over before we show it, right? Are hey, you still there, Kim? Yeah, yeah, so I'll meet you there later, okay? Okay. Dad's not answering. Hi, I'm Paul Campbell. Buying or selling, get it done fast, trust me. I'm sorry, Landon. He never comes to my games anyway. I'll take you. Kara, you want to go get your jacket? We'll take Landon to his hockey game, and then we'll go find Dad. You're not coming either? I have to go find your dad. It's important. Hey. Things are going to change around here, I promise. Are you and Dad getting divorced? What? Dad's sleeping on the couch. Oh, honey. Uh, can I get uh, one coffee with cream, regular size? Absolutely. There'll be 275, please. Keep the change. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. Yeah. Hello, this is Paul Campbell, buying or selling. We do it fast. Trust me, who am I talking to? Detective Miller. You still there? Yeah. I think we need to talk. Yeah, uh, absolutely, but I'm in the middle of a sale right now, so I'll have to call you back. Thanks a lot. Thank you. How are you doing? Cold. Not good. I know how you feel. Hold this. What are you doing? What do you want from me? I don't know. Smile would be nice. Give the suit. Nothing. Don't play stupid. I just saw the handoff. We just shook hands. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, I got rights. Not if I think there's probable cause. I think you just did a drug deal. I'm not a dealer. I, I don't know him. Hmm. He just dropped you this much cash. He wants to help people. Uh huh. Let's talk about it downtown. Oh, come on. Move. Come on. I'm not buying it. Hello? Hey, Heather. Hey, Grace. Do you know where Paul is? Yeah. He picked Jack up and they headed over to the factory. Oh, OK, thanks. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah, it's just great. Bye. Carrie, let's go! Jack, uh, I need you to cover for me. I told Grace that you gave me an advance on the sale. What? She was mad at me when I got the Porsche. I thought you got the money from her uncle. Kind of. It's, it's hard to explain. Try me. doing anything illegal. You've got to believe me. Paul? Dad? Oh, I'm going to call him again. Jeez. Mom, watch oh, out! Jesus. Ah, um, Harry! Did you hear that? What? I heard a scream. I didn't hear anything. Harry. I didn't shut the door. What door? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Care? Carrie? Carrie, tell me. Oh, my God. Oh, we have to get her to the hospital. Oh. 
Oh, snap. Out of it. Out of it. Mom, you have to get her up. You have to get her up. Get her up. One, one, two. two. Mommy, here you go, baby. Okay. 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 What is wrong with you? <laughs> Would you like me to drive? Yeah, please. I'll stay back here. Grace, she's gonna be okay. You don't need me here for one for you. Let's go, Jack. She's still in surgery, hon. Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, she broke her arm and they're fixing it. And, um... What? Well, she hit her head. Like a concussion? Yeah, kind of. This is my fault. No, I told you to do it. No. I knew it was a bad idea. I shouldn't have listened to you. What if they can't fix her? No, oh, honey. Oh, don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Trust me. Trust me? Like Dad says? Sweetie, she's gonna be fine. I just hope she pulls through. I couldn't live with myself. Jack, she's gonna be fine. Oh! This isn't something that you can just shine up or fast talk your way out of. Yeah. Sean, I'll call you later. See how she's doing, okay? Thank you, Jack. Of course. Take care, buddy. as soon as I hear something. Hey, Landon. Why don't you go get yourself something to eat? Healthy, okay? That was Michelle. She said she's never seen Jack so angry. You want to tell me what that's about? He's mad at me. Why? The railing? that Carrie fell from, that Jack wanted to fix it. And I told him not to. What? I thought we could cover it with a tarp. I thought it was going to be fine. Oh. Grace, I'm so sorry. We are so fast. <laughs> sorry, Paul. I'm so sorry, Carrie. Please protect my daughter. Please don't hurt her for something I've done. I know she deserves a better father, but please give me a chance to be better. Be a better father, a better husband. <laughs> I'm losing Grace. I'm lying to her. I've kept things from her. I'm losing my family. <laughs> I need my family. I need a chance to change. Carrie, 
can you hear me? How are you feeling? Gary! Gary! Oh, Dad! Here are the printouts you wanted for the factory layout. Thanks. You're welcome. Jack here. Oh, hey, Grace. Oh, thank God, that's great news. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. She's okay. Landon. I'm not letting you in! You're angry at me and... I hate you! Please don't say that. I never meant to hurt Carrie and... I never wanted any of this to happen. I don't know how to make this better. Being a parent, it's hard. It's hard work and I, I haven't been very good at it. I've been too busy working and running around and trying to make more money. So you can buy fancy cars and forget about my games in the yard and spending time with us? You're right. I've made some bad decisions. And I made some really big mistakes. Mistakes that you're probably never gonna forget, but I need you to forgive me, buddy. I need to change, but I'm hoping you're gonna give me a chance to. I'm so sorry, Landon. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life making it up to you and Carrie. I will. You guys mean everything to me. I just want us to be happy. I want you and Mom not to fight. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. So much. Hold on, okay? I'll be right back. Paul Campbell. Yeah? I have reason to believe you are involved in illegal activity. I am arresting you and seizing the Porsche. We'll read you your rights on the way to the station. You need cuffs? No. Dad. Man. We'll fix this. gonna chill here a while till the truth comes out
How's it going, Paul? Pastor Riley? What are you doing here? Apparently, they think I'm your accomplice. <laughs> Must have been that generous cash donation you gave. I didn't do anything illegal. I thought I was helping out. People are willing to help when they have the means. But when they don't have the means and help anyway, that makes it very special. If you didn't have the plant, would you still have done what you did? You know about the plant? Yes. I gave it to John years ago. Gave it? That's when the miracle happened. Miracle? But how does the... It seems the plan only appears and helps those that truly need to change, Paul. We trust in a higher power. It helps us find our way. Why didn't you tell me? You know, John was a lot like you. Very driven. A little selfish. I always thought Uncle John was very generous. No, no. You know, when I first gave him the plant, all of a sudden he had lots of money and things. But he wasn't happy. He began to look outward to see if he could help others. That's when he found his real destiny. He gave to many charitable causes. He helped fund the Rocky Mountain Children's Camp that Grace's family started. Paul, do you think you've changed? I don't know. Well, the Paul I've known over the last few weeks never would have donated money to any fundraiser, let alone a homeless person. Well, how do you know about that? What are you doing here? They think I sold you drugs because of the money you gave me. Thanks a lot. I'm so sorry. I, I'll tell them you're innocent. Yeah, I can see they really trust you. You're a giving person, Paul. You just needed help to figure it out. Oh, well, look where it got me. And you. And him. Oh, I think it'll all work out. How? I can't explain where the money came from. What am I going to say? I got it from a plant? Remember John's note. When you know the truth, you will be set free. I know the truth. The truth is, I have to change. Tell me about the Rocky Mountain Children's Camp. Grace doesn't ever talk about it. I'm not surprised, Paul. It was an amazing time in Grace's life until her parents suddenly passed. It's where underprivileged children go to experience a bit of the world's natural creation without worrying about the whole world. Her parents loved it there, it was their dream. Well, what about Grace? It was her safe place. I wish she could go back there. Luckily, Uncle John's sister Margaret was able to take care of it and continue the dream after her parents died in that plane. Grace won't ever talk about that either. Terrible thing for a young person to go through. Thank God that John and his wife were there for Grace. I just wish he could get back that little piece of her she left behind there so many years ago. I'd like to help make that happen. <laughs> Church picnic with the fundraisers next week. All the funds are going to that camp. I could use some volunteers. Well, we might still be in here. <laughs> Have a little trust, Paul. Yeah, just got the paperwork confirming the factory sale. Hey, sometimes things turn out unexpectedly. And good on you guys for bringing work back to this town. Hey, we're all in this together. Campbell, I talked to your partner, Jack. He explained everything. You're free to go. What? You can all go. Really? Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're all having a good time. 
Our fundraiser for the Rocky Mountain Children's Camp this year has a very special twist. Paul, would you come up here, please? Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Paul Campbell, or as most of you know me here, uh, Grace's husband. <laughs> uh, the Rocky Mountain Children's Camp was started by my wife Grace's family. And it's a camp for underprivileged kids where they can experience and practice generosity and teamwork and compassion. And for anybody who knows Grace, you can understand why she and I and the kids have decided to start over and move west and start the work at Rocky Mountain. So uh, this year's fundraiser has a raffle and we are hoping you're gonna buy a lot of tickets because first prize is a brand new, barely used 4718 Cayman, which uh, is just a car, but uh, it's a really fast car, right, Paul? <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful car. Thank <laughs> you, Paul. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'm very proud of you. And John would be proud, too. Paul Campbell, you really are on top of the leaderboard now. Jack, you were always on top of the leaderboard. I was just trying to catch you. Thanks for being such a great friend. I'm gonna miss you, brother. I'm gonna miss you. You're gonna visit me. Of course. Yes, you're gonna visit, right? Pretty good. You didn't tell me you were gonna donate the car. You're right. I didn't, and I should have. <laughs> That's a great idea. I don't ever want to see that car again. <laughs> <laughs> Got a, another surprise for you. Yeah. Yeah. church groups. Oh, I'm going to miss everybody terribly. Now, don't you forget to water Uncle John's plant. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, he'd be so glad to know that you're taking care of it. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> mm. Be good. I will. Travel. Come visit. I will. <laughs> Travel safe. Well, thanks for everything, Paul. No. Thank you. Good luck on your next adventure and <laughs> take good care of it. Drive safe.
Aunt Margaret. I've been waiting a long time for this. So good to see you. Oh. You too, dear. <laughs> you look so much like your mother. This oh. is Paul. Glad to meet you, Paul. Nice to meet you, Margaret. And Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Oh. This is Landon. Hi, Hi Landon. Oh. Oh. These guys have been dying to see the horses. I thought so. you said you wanted to see the horses. Yeah, so we're just going to go and see the horses. <laughs> that way. Uh, the oh. Horses are over here. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful family, Grace. Yeah, they're pretty great. Come on. Come on. This place is incredible. John hoped you'd like it. It's amazing. It's hard work. I can't handle it anymore. It takes so much time and energy. But when you see the smile on the children's faces, it's all worth it. Well, we're here for the long run, so we're going to do whatever it takes. Well, you can start by cleaning out the barn. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You can do that tomorrow. <laughs> can we ride the horses? You bet. Hey, Landon. Yeah? I'm sorry we never got around to the Campbell family trip. Dad, trust me. This, it's so much better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you